And on this video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 short stops right now. So let's get into it. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Laraguente here for the Baseball Banter broadcast on the Laraguente Ledger Network. And as I said in the open, today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 short stops right now. Now, this list is the most near and dear to my heart as I love the shortstop position. So there's a lot of debating that goes on for me with this list more so than every other list on this countdown. But, but before I get into my list, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Who makes your top 10 shortstops right now list? Let me know where you agree or disagree with my list. So let's get into it. Before we get to the top 10, I just want to go over a few guys that made my just miss list. Guys like Didi Gregorius, Miguel Rojas, Dansby Swanson, and most notably for me personally, Andrelton Simmons. I've spoken highly about Andrelton on this channel on numerous t occasions, especially this offseason. But when you look at what this list comprises of, there's just so much talent on the shortstop list that there was just no way for me to get a personal favorite like Andrelton above the rest of this top tier crop of elite shortstops so let's get into it and we begin with number 10 and that is Xander Bogarts when you look at what Bogarts is he's not going to be considered a gold glove defender but his offensive capabilities are what have him on this list this is a player who over the last couple of seasons has produced OPS pluses of 135 140 and 131 when you have OPS pluses that high up over the all-star mark of about 120 to 130. That's going to have you in this conversation as one of the 10 best shortstops in all of Major League Baseball. There's no doubt about it when he, Xander is on the field, he helps the Red Sox try and win games with his bat. Now, yes, again, defensively, he's not going to be something that you're going to really say is a standout defender, but his offense more than makes up for some of the defensive lapses he has in the field. So as we move on to number nine on my list, it is Trey Turner of the Washington Nationals. When you look at what Turner has been able to do over the last few years, this has been a very, very good ball player. Taking a look at just the 2020 campaign, which was a down season for most players, Trey Turner had a phenomenal year. Playing in 59 of the 60 games, he would amass an OPS plus of 157, with a league leading 78 hits and 4 triples. We would also see a slash line coming from Trey Turner of 335, 394, and 588. This is incredible offense from the Washington National shortstop. And even though the defensive metrics wouldn't really give Trey Turner a gold glove necessarily, and there are some times when you watch him play the field that there's a little bit of question mark there, he's going to be able to handle the position well enough to be able to support him staying at that spot, especially given the offensive output that he has. So as we get into number eight on my list, it is Bo Bichette of the Toronto Blue Jays. When you look at what the young shortstop for the Blue Jays is capable of, this is a young man who is going to be a force in Major League Baseball. Across parts of two Major League seasons, Bichette's played about 75 games in the majors at this point. During those 75 games, he has an OPS plus of 137 and a slash line of 307, 347, 549 with 16 home runs and 44 RBIs. When you look at what that could be over the course of a 162 game season, there's no doubt about it that this young man deserves a spot on this list. And much like his two predecessors on this list, he's not going to be a stellar defender at this moment. But I do think that Bichette has the strides and is making the strides to be able to be a very good defender at the shortstop position. When you look at what this young man could be in terms of being part of the core of a Blue Jays team that has been very aggressive this offseason, we've covered the Blue Jays quite a bit with all the moves that they've made. But having a guy like Bichette at the core is really what's going to help solidify the Toronto Blue Jays heading into the 2021 campaign. And thus, he makes the top 10 shortstops right now. As we head to number 7 on the list, it is one of the more entertaining men to watch play the field and just play Major League Baseball in general, and that is Tim Anderson. Over the past couple of seasons, Anderson has been in the hunt for the batting championship. He won it one year and came in second place the next. And while batting average to me isn't really the end-all be-all, Tim Anderson has been a very, very good player, producing OPS pluses of 128 and 141 respectively over the last two seasons. You add that in with the kind of collective numbers of 28 home runs and 77 RBIs, and you understand why this man deserves a spot on this list. Now, just like the previous three men on this list, defensively, Anderson isn't going to be uh, Andrelton Simmons-like, but he's going to be able to hold down the position enough to where his bat leaves him in the lineup each and every time. 
for the White Sox. Now, as we move into number six on my list, this name is going to be a hot commodity on the trade market, and that is Trevor Story for the Colorado Rockies. We know that the Rockies are kind of in a state of flux right now as they've already dealt their biggest piece in Nolan Arenado. Trevor Story is likely to be another name that's mentioned in rumors going forward, and for good reason. Trevor Story is, without question, one of the best shortstops in Major League Baseball. Now, unlike the other four men that I've already mentioned on this list, Trevor Story is a great defender at the position. And you add in the capabilities of being a very good offensive player on top of that, and you have the makings of a very, very high-level elite shortstop going forward. Now, the question will be for Trevor Story in 2021 is if he remains on the Rockies, will he get enough protection in that lineup to be able to produce the kind of offensive numbers that we've come to expect over the last three seasons? Over the last three seasons, Trevor Story has produced OPS pluses of 127, 119, and 118, respectively. And again, you add that consistency with a high, high level of defensive acumen, and you now have one of the best shortstops in Major League Baseball. Now, before we get into the rare air of the shortstop class, in my opinion, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below where do you agree or disagree with my list? What is your top 10 shortstops right now list look like? Let me know that down in the comment section below, and we'll discuss it further. Now, as we get into the top five, we begin with Corey Seager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. When you look at Seager, this is a player that, aside from injuries, is one of the best players in Major League Baseball and has the, those capabilities. Injuries have been a factor for Seager in his early career, but... If he can remain healthy, this is one of the most dynamic shortstops on the field. Corey Seager has been in the league for six years already and amassed a slash line for his career of 295, 362, and 500. Now, during the 2020 campaign is when he really, truly broke out in a major, major way. Seager would produce an OPS plus of 152 with a slash line of 307, 358, and 585 with 15 homers and 41 RBIs. Again, this was a shortened 60-game season. Now, Seager is a good enough defender to maintain himself at the shortstop position, but many baseball pundits, myself included, believe that Seager is likely going to follow in the footsteps of Cal Ripken Jr. and make the move over to third base at some point in his career. But for the 2021 campaign, there's no doubt about it, Corey Seager is definitely staying planted at shortstop. As we move into the top four it is my countryman Carlos Correa when you look at what Correa has been able to do for his career it has been a very very good start for his major league career now injuries have played a factor with Correa the same way they have with Seager but to a much more extent in my opinion I think that a healthy Carlos Correa is capable of putting up incredible numbers now 2020 was a down season without question but it was a strange year for the entire Houston Astros organization as we know they were facing the ramifications of the sign stealing scandal so this was always going to be a strange year for the Houston Astros pandemic aside but when you look at what Correa can do for the Astros going into 2021, a bit more relaxed and healthy is the biggest key for Correa. This is one of the guys who can compete for a, an MVP, in my opinion. Over his six-year Major League career, Correa has produced an OPS plus of 126 and a career slash line of 276, 353, and 480. But he's also added in premium defense at the position. And being a bigger shortstop, again, somebody that they believe will have to move to a corner much like Cal Ripken Jr. and Alex Rodriguez did. Correa is one of these guys that is capable of handling the shortstop position from a defensive perspective. And that is rare air in this terms. And that has become rare air in this day and age with a shortstop who can hit as well as play defense. So this is definitely, without question in my opinion, one of the top shortstops in Major League Baseball. As we head into the number three spot is another one of my countrymen, and that is Javier Baez. When you look at Baez, you think of, about Javi, you know that it's all about his defense. His defense is absolutely incredible from the no-look tags, just the ability that the man has with the glove on his hand is otherworldly. But then you also add in, when he's healthy, an offensively driven, a bat that plays up to high, high levels. For the Chicago Cubs. And much like for many others on this list, the 2020 campaign was a down season, but there's no doubt about it in my mind that Javi will have a huge bounce back year. 
going into 2021. The Chicago Cubs are going to be in a state of flux, but that's not going to diminish the output for a guy like Baez. And you can see that play out because even in a down offensive year, Javi would still be able to put up the kind of defensive numbers that would win him a gold glove. And therefore, in my opinion, is one of the best shortstops in Major League Baseball. As we head into number two on my list, it is another one of my countrymen, and that is Francisco Lindor. When you look at the newly acquired Met, this player is absolutely one of the very best players in my opinion in all of major league baseball the switch hitting shortstop is capable of carrying a team with his bat as well as with his glove to me this is one of the premier defenders at the shortstop position as well as being one of the better offensive bats this is a guy who can hit for average hit for power has a great arm runs and plays defense this is the epitome of a five tool player when you're building a custom superstar for major league baseball this is the kind of guy that you put together you add in the fact of his nickname mr smiles and he's always playing with a child's love and enthusiasm for the game of baseball and there's no doubt about it this is the guy you build your franchise around and even though 2020 wouldn't see him reach his astronomical heights of his usual career numbers he was still above league average in terms of his production at the plate so going into 2021 there's not really a bounce back necessarily but we expect a very big year coming from francisco lindor so that leaves one shortstop the top shortstop and there's very little question at this point it is fernando tatis jr and he is one of the most dynamic superstars in major league baseball now while most shortstops on this list were having down campaigns in 2020 fernando put everybody on notice with an absolutely breakout campaign he would have an ops plus of 155 for the 2020 season and across two major league seasons fernando has played about 143 games in the majors totaling an ops plus of 154 during that time with a slash line of 301 374 and 582 to go along with 39 home runs and 98 rbis that would be one outstanding season if you put it all together for this young man. This is, without question, one of the best and most dynamic players in the game of Major League Baseball. And there's very little question as to why he's number one on the list. Now, yes, his defense is still a very, very big question mark at this point. But we would see strides from 2019 to 2020 heading in the right direction. So heading into 2021, there's a very easy. it's very easy to believe that this young man is going to continue making those defensive strides and become a much better defender at the shortstop position. But there's little question when you have the offensive capabilities that Fernando Tatis Jr. has, you have to end up at the very top of this list. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Where do you agree with my list? Where do you disagree let me know your list down in the comment section below as always if you haven't already done so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the bell to stay notified of every time we drop new content here on the lot of ledger network there's going to be a lot of new content coming in 2021 so make sure you keep it locked in by hitting that subscribe button as well as that bell so you're alerted every time we drop new content as always if you haven't joined us yet on patreon make sure you head over there to patreon.com search for the lot of ledger network and join us there as your support will allow us to continue bringing you this content each and every week head over to ladaquintaledger.com and check out the corresponding article with this video i will leave links to it down in the show notes below and i will catch you guys on the next time the latest news notes or my personal thought theories and opinions have to be dropped about the game of major league baseball peace